ladies and gentlemen, you know, all over the Northern Hemisphere and parts of Europe, you should see the Aurora Borealis. Now, last night there were reports, it was seen all over the state that I'm in, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. They said it was a, quite a display that went on until the early morning. Now, it appeared from what I read at around 1020 last night, it will be appearing again tonight all over the Northern Hemisphere. So if you can get out there and see it, please do. This is the result of a pretty severe solar storm. So I know it will be spectacular to see this. Now, I've seen it online. I've seen it, you know, on shows and stuff like that. But I have never really physically seen one by just walking outside. So I said, I'm just going to keep my curtains open to see what appears in the sky. You know, I would love to, you know, just video the entire thing. So the northern lights could be visible Sunday night for millions of people across the United States. Forecasters predict the Earth continues to experience the geomagnetic storm. And they said this one is pretty severe. That's why you can see the Aurora Borealis. So they said it will be likely to be seen not only in the U.S., but Canada, Alaska, and um, parts of Europe. The lights might also be visible. And they're saying it can reach as far south as Alabama. So the lights are caused by an ongoing geomagnetic storm, which are expected again to bombard the earth. Coronal mass ejection, plasma. So they said this is all coming from the sun. And it's a second peak of the storm, early Sunday into Sunday night, 1,800 kilometers per second. This is according to the National Weather Service. They issued uh, this storm as a G4, severe to extreme geomagnetic storm for today, Sunday cautioning the storm could cause power grid problems and it could mess with the frequency, especially high frequency communication, GPS, satellite navigation could all be disrupted. So the storm will still be in effect through Monday until a large magnetically complex sunspot all right, and that's known as region 3664, rotates out of view on Tuesday. This is according to forecasters. You know, I, cause you know, the storm was going on yesterday and I was talking to somebody and at one point in time, the phone had cut out and I couldn't hear anything the person was saying. And I, I would say it probably cut out for maybe like a good 20 seconds. And then it popped back on and they were still talking. And I don't think they had any idea that we kind of got cut off and they came back on. So I think I have experienced the disruption. So the northern lights are caused by solar wind the streams, ionized gas originated from the sun that interact with Earth's magnetic field. This is according to NOAA. The current storm that we are experiencing now started on Friday. This is according to the National Weather Service, and they did issue a first severe geomagnetic storm watch and they said this is the first time they made that issue since January uh, 2005. So they said it was very historic Friday night. The sightings of the Northern Lights reported across the country. 
And they said it was the entire United States that could see it. Even people down in Key West reported that they could see the Aurora Borealis. So if it's very severe today, it might be quite a show tonight, y'all. So if you got a moment, step outside and see if you can get a glimpse of it. Now, um, they said it started around after 10. So I'll just see what it looks like out there after 10 o'clock. Wow. And they said the storm will probably be visible still on Monday, but it will dissipate by Tuesday as the, you know, the sunspot rotates away from the earth. Well, that is pretty spectacular. I tell you what, there's a lot of pictures online that people took yesterday and also took on Friday. And the pictures are beautiful. A lot of purple and the ones that you're looking at it's a lot of purples and reds and green it, it even in one picture i even seen a little bit of yellow it's just beautiful beautiful colors so y'all please tell me what you think about this video and let me know if you get a chance to see it let me know in the comment section please leave your comment and subscribe don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.